people who regularly use commonly prescribed heartburn medication are 70% more likely to be admitted to hospital for infectious gastroenteritis. That's according to new research by the Australian National University. The study found proton pump inhibitors, or PPIs, are one of the world's most commonly used gastric acid suppressants. But the findings show the medication puts people at increased risk by significantly reducing stomach acid. Lead author Ying Shi Chen is here with me in the studio now. Ying Shi, thanks very much for your time. Tell us a bit more about what this research has found. And our research was based on the Sex Institute's 45 and up study. We found a, t a common type of acid suppressant known as proton pump inhibitors linked to over 70% increase in hospitalization with infectious gastroenteritis among people aged 45 years and over. So what does that do to the patients? Um, so basically PPI significantly reduce the gas uh, stomach acid produced by stomach, which may potentially put people at higher risk for gastrointestinal infections. You say potentially, how high is the, is the risk? Uh, it really depends on the people. For example, in our study, we found that elderly and people with chronic bowel mm -hmm. issues were at the highest risk. Yeah, right. So how much higher? When they're taking this medication, how much higher is their risk? So we, in this study, we only look at the link between PPI use and hospitalization with infectious gastroenteritis. And we found in people with chronic bowel issues, if they took PPI over one standard dose a day, they were 100% more likely to be hospitalized wow. with infectious gastroenteritis. How many people take this medication? In our study, we looked at over 38,000 participants in the 45 and up study, and over 50 percent of participants taking PPI in this cohort. Now this is quite serious considering that people are being hospitalized. Yes, it is because because uh, gastro infection gastro is very common in Australia, but mm. here in our study we're looking at hospitalizations. These are the severe cases right. we're talking about. And you say that elderly people and younger children are more at risk. Um, in our study, we only looked at people aged 45 years and over, so we don't look at mm. younger children. Younger children, right. What should patients be doing? Should they stop taking this medication? There is no doubt PPI is very effective in treating patients with gastric issues and reflux and heartburn. We found a clear link between mm. PPI and hospitalization with infectious gastroenteritis. So if patients are concerned mm. about this, and particularly the elderly and the patient with chronic bowel issues, it's worthwhile having a conversation with your doctor whether you are on the right dose mm. or if it, this medicine is the right fit for you. And do you, do you know if there are alternative medicines that people could be taking? Uh, there are alternative medicines. Yeah. There are other types of gastric acid suppressant available. Are doctors, to your knowledge, do you think doctors are making their patients aware of the risks? There has been some awareness about PPI use internationally. So previous studies has, has found a link between PPI use and Clostridium difficile infections. So there's certainly some concern there. But we found a clear link between PPI and hospitalization with infectious gastroenteritis. So I think patients and doctors should be fully aware of this mm. association. Talk to your doctor. All right, Ying Shi yeah. Chen, thanks very much for coming in. Thank you very much, Joe.